Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is One of One, but you can call me Seven. And I'm Vince. Wait, what the fuck? Welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. We just hit the big city. We just Big hit, City of Bows? The correct? Big, the big city. Yeah, yeah, the big city of Bows. We're about to go get some, I don't know, dude, some wireless speakers or something. Yeah, some like headphones. I mean, I don't know. Perhaps. Back when this game was made, what, 2000? Wait, didn't Four. we say it was 2004? 2000, yep, correct. Bose Bose was around. I, I would be shocked if they weren't. Yeah, Bose I mean, is definitely around, and they were doing stuff. Regardless, um, we've got some stuff to do. We've definitely, we've definitely got our plates full um, here. Uh, yeah, Bose. we got, we got. I don't know if we've done any of the side quests yet. I think we might have done one. I know we have to yes. get some poultry meat for yes. the chef lady. Yeah. So we might do some stuff off screen that you guys don't see, but otherwise, we're just here to continue the main story in chapter one. So let's get going. Woo! -hoo! Yay! Wait, what's this? Oh, this, hacking gate. this Remember is the, the gate place that out. they said, yeah, that we have to hide our identities as bracers? Correct. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed past this point. <laughs> Estelle, that's not how it works. <laughs> hey, let us through. Hey, come on. Is it, uh, officer, it'll be fine. Officer, it'll be fine. <laughs> officer, don't worry about it. No, it's not all right. <laughs> no, child. <laughs> for searching for the missing airliner. Okay, we have no intention to do anything of the sort. We're bracer. No, uh, we look. Sure. Was Shara Maybe there? Maybe at the actual gate. W was Shara like, there? Like when when we were told not to tell people? Yeah, because didn't he say that as we were passing through? I think you're there. right. Wait, are you trying to tell me that these kids are too? Okay, maybe <laughs> just Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, See these emblems? The, the fire emblem. Ba 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 ba. That's a hard cut. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, that even braces are no exception. You heard the men. Now, how about you move on out of here? Yeah, how about I beat your heck, ass? Yeah. Oh. I bet, um, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. Uh, Dude, I have yeah, to stop. Yeah, yeah, no, keep going. I have to stop. Keep I can't going. be like her. Forget it, Estelle. All right, all right. Wouldn't be much use wait, unconscious. Wait, wait, wait. They wouldn't be much use to those unconscious? Uh, yeah, they would. As in, we could use them to get by. <laughs> Yeah, what are we gonna weaken at Bernie's then? Yeah, right. Holy hey, crap! Hey, General, we're here to come <laughs> back. <laughs> All right, here's another town mayor. <laughs> wow, now isn't this a gorgeous place? Check out that crazy, expensive-looking chandelier. Calm down, Estelle. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks like this is the mayor's place. All right. Now I just wonder if she's home. Oh, what's good? <laughs> Oh, do we have visitors? Ooh. Oh! Welcome to the Bose Mayor's residence. May I ask who you are, please? We are with the Bracer Guild. The mayor made a request to the guild, and we've come here to inquire about the details. Well, I have heard from the mayor that we should be expecting you. However, I'm sorry to inform you okay. that the mayor is currently out at the moment. Good old Pokemon gym situation, gym leader situation. <laughs> She's gone to worship at the cathedral. Uh, we, we can help her with that. We can. <laughs> when do you expect her back, sir? Well, let me see. Actually, I would imagine her to be making a return any moment now. Well, we're kind of in a hurry to meet her. Do you think it would be alright to call on her at the chapel? Well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry, it would, it would probably save the both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like, the typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it, dripping gemstones from every pore? Feathers? Gemstones from every... what? <laughs> um, no, colorful. But quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? Oh. She, should I say she looks splendid or should I say beautifully mature? She is definitely a little girl, right? She is almost 100% like a young woman or a little girl. She could just find the right man, then I could retire. Okay, in maybe I'm wrong. Huh? Uh, n n never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah, uh, yes, this may help. The mayor is a maid accompanying her. Thanks, man. That might be the easiest way to find her. The mayor's being accompanied by a maid, huh? Okay. Sounds easy enough to find in a crowd of people. Sure. All right, let's let's get over there. Damn. Oh, there you are. You're the maid who uh, we've been looking for. And you are. <laughs> so that wasn't very polite. <laughs> My apologies. We're with the Bracer Guild. We're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Lila. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where is the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. Huh? 
I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. Damn. Classic. <laughs> Damn. How unpious. I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems that she is quite a unique personality. <laughs> well, doesn't she sound interesting? Even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. There is no doubt she's a capable person, although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. Um, I don't- Estelle, you can wait. You can no, wait, Estelle. Can she? I don't know. It's Estelle we're talking about. Dude, she's so pushy! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, I guess it's okay. Let's make our way over to the Bose Market then. Damn. A party of four! <laughs> Woo! Alright! Can't wait to be ambushed like this. Yeah. In the middle of town? Yep. Wow. This place is really huge. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Oh. Just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself! <laughs> Trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up? You're not fit to be merchants in bows. Uh, but, ma'am... We were we were just thinking about how to increase the sales to the bone market in general. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore from you. If it were other products, it would be a different story. But making undue profits on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original Damn. price at once. Well, I'll, I'll, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the Bose market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to oh, it, no. it's the established relationship of trust between people. Dude, not Adam Smith's The Wealth of Nations. Oh, <laughs> no. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants in both. The invisible hand of the free market. Y yes, ma'am. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Madam. Oh, my God. The quick turn. Lila, or what did, what did Lila, you say, Lila? I said, I think so, yeah. Lila, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job, as always. But never mind that. These people are here to see you. Please come home, or come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is... The fire emblem. <laughs> so does that mean you're... Oh? <laughs> Forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Mabel. Oh, you're cute! I'm the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. You're so cute! She's pretty cool. Oh god, we're eating here? Yes. Are we, oh my god, I need to stop! I need to stop! <laughs> Estelle, stop taking my lines. I know that you can't look into the scripts before we do these videos. I mean, what scripts? Um, but, uh, Script? dude, there's there's no way. You ha One of us has to go home and change, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> god. I have to use this place for business meetings. The food's quite good, too. I believe it. I tell you what, though. I had heard the mayor of Bose was a woman, but I, I never imagined you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would guess that you're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I still feel like I'm nothing more... Not, nothing more than an there unworthy you yeah, successor you to my father. My late father was the previous mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights of the Bose market and the political foundation which he set up. That's a rather unvarnished self-evaluation if <laughs> yeah. I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high ahead about that. I like this lady. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, would it be all right to go over the details of my request with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. Well, what I would like to ask you to do is investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring closure to the incident. It won't be that easy, no way. I'm of the opinion that bracers would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army is currently producing. I, you're right. The reason being, we're not fighting a war. We're just trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Well, I, for one, would be honored. But don't you think that you're overrating us just a bit? Eh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. Damn. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. Oh. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. Sure. And just when business had been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration. This is the second yeah. time we've heard about this birthday celebration now. The Queen, yeah. Yeah. I see. So this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something which I can't be, tr I can't trust to be left up to the army alone. So what do you think? Will you, act will you accept my request? Of for your course. Help well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job, but 
The Army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the Army who's running this show? Excluding bracers, huh? Yeah. This must have something to do with General Morgan. With that then. racist asshole. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's just an old white guy. <laughs> <laughs> that man has disliked bracers from the beginning. Yeah, we've heard. So you know who he is? He was a friend of my late father's. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So I may just be able to do something for you. Okay. Meaning... Lila? Yes, madam. Lila produced a sheet of letter paper and a fountain pen from her pocket and handed them to Mayor Maybell. Alright. I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. Alright, a letter from the, from the mayor. It's a letter of request to General Morgan. Let's inform him of my request for information about the incident as the official responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I hope so. But I wonder if that bracer-hating general will even meet with us at all. I think it would be a pretty safe bet as long there as you, you have your identities. You'd probably be best served by saying that you're a messenger for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying. Or, well, I mean, you are lying, Estelle. No, because they are messengers for the mayor. You're okay, big They're guy. They're just admitting some of the truth. It's not lying. We just not be telling them everything. All right, Joshua. Thank you, Joshua. Okay, yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Since this is a time-sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need to go to meet General Morgan? There's a fort called the Hacking okay. Gate on the international border to the north There you of go. Us. Yeah, we've got this. So to, yeah, should we, be able to find the general. We found all this. Yes, sir. Counting on you. Counting. And there we go. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. Oh, yeah. Weren't you with the Brazier Guild? Uh, <laughs> 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 no. Uh -uh. <laughs> Too bad. Not today. Wait. If I hadn't come to visit them before, would they not I have don't that text? Know, actually. That's I don't know. crazy! Yeah. That's such a small thing. Um, Estelle produced Mayor Mabel's letter with a flourish. Uh yeah. Has requested Mayor's that we come and speak with General Morgan is official, but if you don't want to let us through, I'm sure you'll be hating life later. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Is the one in charge over the entire region and you can't just ignore that? This guy's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, right. We share a border with the Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. All right, let us up there. We got yeah, a quest yeah, to do up here. Up. Oh, wow. This is the border, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah, they, that's what they said. It's I know. The, it's just, the border I can't the believe it looks so industrial. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was also <laughs> surprised at how huge it was. Um, The sole entrance to the Empire, the rampart that protects Liberal from foreign threats. Destroyed 10 years ago. Standard they military bigger. reaction. Bigger equals better. Yeah, true. It's bigger. It's better. It's the territory of the Erebonian Empire, which stands beneath the emblem of the Golden Stallion. Let's go meet with General Morgan. All right, we'll hit the barracks. All right, let's run it. Of course, yes, we know that this is... Yeah, I can't believe you forgot. No, it's <laughs> fine. Espionage is, is okay. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Don't feel right. That's proof that you've started adjusting to being a bracer. You're all good. Who is this guy? What a surprise. Who is this guy? This is my first time eating in Liberal cook or eating Liberal's cooking, but it was rather delectable. I'm uh glad you liked it. If you had a town, there's a uh, there's a number of other places where you can eat great Liberal cooking as well. You enjoy this trip of yours, alright? That I will do, believe me. If this is the kind of food I can get in a border dive like this, then I'm truly am Jesus in Christ. for a feast elsewhere in this land. Well, excuse me for having my bar here on the <laughs> outskirts of the country. Before you go feasting on the finer things, how about a glass of wine? I know it's not high-end exactly, but the taste is worth the price. The, the taste. Do you see that? Hmm, I did see that. Yeah. Well then, maybe I will. Do you think this guy is... He looks like a traveler from the Empire, if you ask me. Okay. Rather handsome and well-dressed. Found him to be a little odd. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh! Good day to you all, my fine friends. You appear to be citizens of Liberal, but may I ask you if you're traveling to the Empire? Nope, we're just here on an errand. We're not traveling to the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of Erebonia yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit the Liberal Kingdom? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I am indeed a visitor in Liberal, both for work uh, and for pleasure. Uh. And you? You say you're running an errand, but I see your true colors. No. I know exactly who you are. You don't are. know what I am. You don't know, you don't know, no, no. Indeed, your bracers, no. No, no, uh-uh. How'd you know? We removed our bra- Oh, Jesus Christ, Estelle. 
We are the Phantom Thieves. We are the Phantom <laughs> Thieves. You're in the same profession? It's true that there are guild branches in the Empire, but actually, I'm not a bracer. Okay. I just know several people in the guild. That's all. And there's an air about you that reminds me of them. So I just thought I'd ask. Damn it, we're already too good at being a bracer. <laughs> Those are some excellent deductive reasoning skills you've got. I don't think an amateur could have picked us out of a crowd. We do like also that. just look like some guys, so uh Yeah, we are some we do have anime colored hair. Yeah. So, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> are you sure you're a traveler? <laughs> uh, please don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. These guys are laughing like the guys in Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Those cold, flickering eyes of amber. Just like a um, glass of exquisite brandy. Um, 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 make, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I see it hold you in my arms. Um, Whoa. Oh, you're a bold. You're one to talk, Shara. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, you. Are you one to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Estelle, no! Estelle has some um, Estelle, no! 2004 issues, we'll Estelle, say. Estelle, no! All right, uh, time Look, to go see the general. The Yay. Let's go find out what's going on. Wait, what? Let's be off. <laughs> what do you mean, let's be off? What are you following us around for? Oh, uh, you're, oh, like as if you're a party member. <laughs> <laughs> Your timing is excellent. You didn't miss a beat in exiting behind us. It seems almost natural, scarily so. Ha, huh, you noticed. Everything about you all just seems so interesting. I thought I'd take a gander. Please don't mind me. Carry on, my good gent and mademoiselle. Oh my god. Of course we're going to mind. Now get you. Shoo, shoo. Scrooge. Oh man, that's really funny actually. <laughs> a brig. The jail. We're definitely ending up in there. Are you here on behalf of General Mabel? Or Mayor Mabel. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what? Sorry, she got, my she man. Got, she got promoted. <laughs> uh, that's right. Very well. Come inside. Thank you for seeing us. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. I'm glad that you came. My name's Morgan. I've been tasked with guarding the Hawken Gate by Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. It's an honor to meet you, sir. We are all here on behalf of Mayor Mabel. Please pardon our intrusion during such a busy time. Yeah. There's no need to apologize. I've known Mabel since she was a but a child. I couldn't imagine ignoring her request, much less one from the mayor. Okay, this guy seems like well enough. All right then, would you please read this first? Hmm, so it's about the missing airliner, is it? Under ordinary circumstances, that information would be strictly confidential, Ooh. considering this is a request from her. Her name opens doors. I'll tell you everything I know. Sweet, yeah, yeah. Huh? Why are you uh, happy about something that doesn't concern no, you? No, 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 please, please, please. Crap, I should have kept my mouth <laughs> shut. The mayor appears quite distraught over the situation. And so we've wanted to do anything we can to assist her. I see. Well, I'm glad to okay. hear that she's been blessed with some good people Ooh, around Quick here. thinking, quick thinking. <laughs> Let me get right down to things and explain the status of our search efforts. Please do. The airliner, Lind, has disappeared on its way to Roland after taking off on the Bose landing port. Mm-hmm. Presently, we have units searching all areas of the region, but we have yet to come up with anything. So what you're saying is the possibility of the incident being caused by monsters or an accident is fairly slim, right? Mm. If an airship of that size had crashed, it likely would have been discovered in the initial search efforts. Yes, that's exactly right. In fact, the flight route between oh Bose and Roland goes over some planes that allow a commanding view of the land. Of course, the probability of the airliners going down in Valeria Lake or the ocean is extremely Why low. is that? Not a uh, worst just case because scenario. of the flight path. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then that leaves the door open to the possibility that the airship could have been taken. Must be to loot the cargo or demand a ransom for the hostages. A In other words, a yeah. hijacking, right? Geographical conditions, it could covert be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, covert yeah. op. And Imperial Co Army. Covert op. Really <laughs> big. That would be really bad. What's yeah. the matter? I was just thinking that that's quite an impressive assessment for some civilians. Okay, we are literally just putting together information, brother. I don't understand. I mean, to be fair, we also consider the possibility that the Imperial Army was involved, so we have four strict regulations of the flow of information. Wait, so what did, what, did, what did you say? To be fair, what? Like, would if you, if you were a, if this were to happen near you, would you have really thought through all of the several things that they have. Well, the fact you know that it's a, it's a missing airliner 
Right. For me, I, I would probably come up with one conclusion and then just stick with it unless I was proven otherwise. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd be like, oh, fair. maybe it could have been a covert op. Like, it could have been, like, something by the Imperial, like, the, the Arabonians. And the then army. that's it. Yeah. Like, fair. that's it. Okay. Oh, An boy. International incident, if taken lightly, could result in another war. And that's bad. Oh, war. War never changes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> But next to small mercies of Adios, the possibility for another conflict disappeared early this morning. Oh? A certain organization sent a letter to the royal family in Orbal Ship Co. claiming responsibility oh, wow. and demanding a ransom for the passengers. This organization goes by oh, the name of the Kapua family. Oh, baby! Hell yeah! Or Kapua, I don't actually remember. Kapua? I think I say Kapua or Ka Kapua, yeah. The Kapua family? Yeah. It, it couldn't be who I think it is, could it? And we just see Josette's face, like, in low opacity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it certainly appears to be that way. The Sky Bandits have been operating in the shadows in the Bose region and are led by three siblings mm. at their head. I take it you've heard of yeah, them? Yeah, dude. Kyle, uh, uh, fucking Craig, and, uh, and Josette. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just They just chose really <laughs> normal names. A little bit. Um, Estelle? We didn't have a no, run-in with I... them. Uh, okay. Um... So... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> eto... <laughs> Bleh? <laughs> you got a run-in with them in Roland. I heard that some other gang had shown up in the Roland region, but... No, it's Estelle, you can... You don't no. have to... You no, don't... she's too dumb. She can't lie. Oh, too God, dumb to lie. I think lie. he's on to us. Yeah, because of you and your big mouth. Oh, See, no. man. I thought the way you were able to analyze the situation was strange no. from your civilians. Girl and a couple of kids like you were bracers. Who are you calling kids? Well, the Stella. children? Yeah. <laughs> Just for the record, Mayor Mabel did in fact in fact request that we come here and talk Just to so you. we don't get arrested. This is Did in fact what no. happened. Yeah, this is legit. Silence, deceivers. Running up. Yep, I knew it. Get in here, Ben. Uh, he looks pretty pissed. So this is how a hard-nosed military man acts, huh? No, we can beat these guys up. Easy. Yeah. What's the matter, General? Do these visitors try to pull anything funny? These bracers need to be shown the door. Throw them out immediately. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Trying to brush us off like bugs, damn. Hmm. <laughs> You're no different. Hiding your identity so you could try and finagle some try. information out of we me. We did. We got all of it. Yeah, we got your ass, old man. Yeah. It's because you pulled underhanded tactics like that. That bracers can't be trusted. Just where do you get off calling it finagle? <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> what, that's your issue? It's your own fault since you didn't share information with the guild to begin with. Nonsense. Who in their right mind would leave an incident this big in the hands of a mere civilian group? You're stupid. I swear, of all the stupid things Mabel said. I swear. That's how you sound right now. <laughs> Hiring a bunch of kids like this and getting in the way of our search party. Were you doing anything? No. How about you cut with the crap, General? Oh? Why do you think we've had to come all the way from Roland to begin with? It's because when it comes down to it, you military morons can't do your job! What did you just say? Holy shit. <laughs> sure is really pissed, all right. For the past few months, you've known about the string of burglaries which seem to be the work of the Sky Bandits, right? And who, knowing full well it was them, dumped the workload onto the guild instead of looking into it themselves like they should have, huh? And now, the second this incident happens, you get on your high horse with an attitude. You've got nothing to show for it. No hostages or even the location of the missing airliner. Don't you think that's an embarrassment to the entire kingdom? Silence, girl. Dude, we could, we could beat your ass. The military is an organization that runs on discipline. It does not take action on a whim. God. God. Yeah, that's what he sounds like right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just turns into the... Uh, oh. How sad it is oh, to see such a no. discord. No, please. Be normal. Oh my God, he jumped. He jumped, right? <laughs> I think he might have. Strife brings nothing to be born, but only extends the barren wilderness within our hearts. Oh my God. Let me sing a requiem for you all. One to soothe your parched soul. Hit it, hit it. A gentle yet wistful tune to bathe your brittle spirits and cause the deserts of your heart to bloom. Do 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 do
He said the thing. Roll credits! There we go. Did we do it? <laughs> it looks like you all understood what I was trying to get across. What is it? What is it that is most precious above all? That's love and peace, <laughs> baby. Oh my god! Oh, oh man. Shing. <clears throat> anyway. I, uh, I think it's about time the search party to be returning with their reports. Yep. Get back in my duties to make sure that you don't let those kids in again. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh? Oh, cancel any further checks on the travelers. So that means... Uh, okay. Oh, so he's just letting it, them go through now? Hey, pretty much. Okay. I want to say that's like kind of the game's way of being like, all right, you can just, like, just go. <laughs> okay. I wish we could this game. Oh, does that mean... Uh, uh, does uh, that mean... Uh, oh, God. He's going to be in our party. Wait. Think about our future plan of attack. Hmm? Oh, no, Where no, are you going? no, no. <laughs> no! All right. Let's try this a fucking second time. Let Estelle, me try and introduce myself again. Estelle, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Olivier Lenheim, yes. a wandering bard and musician by trade. Nice. As you already know, I am an Arabonian touring, your fair libero. Okay. I'm a Stellan. Now, wait a minute. Why do we have to introduce ourselves to you? Easy, Excel. <laughs> he did this intercede for us back there. I'm Joshua. Sure. And I'm Sherazard. Things were getting pretty heated, and I'm glad you stepped in before something really bad happened. Yeah, you're about to rip that man's head off. <laughs> You've got nothing to thank me for. I only did what any person who loves beauty oh and peace would have done. Oh my god. However, if you insist, how about going on a date with me for a day? I'm going to have to pass on that. First of all, I don't have that sort of free time. That's too bad. Damn. All right then, I guess I'll accept Joshua as a substitute. Oh god. Oh what god. What do I do with any of this? Please don't involve me in your questionable humor. Well, uh, that's odd. I didn't mean it as a joke. Thing that makes you even more questionable. All right, all right, JRPG. Oh, no, oh Estelle! <laughs> now wait, now just a minute. How come you didn't invite me on a date? It's literally right next door. Oh, let's go. Bear claw survey, and then double monster. Let's go. All right, we're dealing with this now. Oh, a bear claw. Oh, hey. Well, looky there. Oh, hey, it's these two. <laughs> Go on, Missy. I'm begging you. Please let us in. Oh, God. I just get a comment from the mayor. I'd be on my merry little way. Yup, that's right. And of course, I'd need a photograph, too. I'm sure the mayor would be flattered, but she's extremely busy. I'm going to have to ask all those without an appointment to leave. I hope you can understand the situation. Come on, please. <laughs> For an incident this huge, we hardly know anything about the circumstances surrounding it. I have an obligation to inform the readers. Damn, buddy. But, yeah, what about the readers? We can probably reach double the number if we have the mayor grace the cover. She's said to be very beautiful after all. Uh, <laughs> Dorothy, why do you have to go and say something like that? Huh? But it was you who was saying the same thing, remember? You said if we didn't have any news to go on, we could lure customers to buy the magazine by featuring the sexy mayor on the cover. You idiot. <laughs> uh, 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 miss? Well, aren't you two a couple of interesting visitors? I'll make sure to tell Mayor Mabel about the details of our conversation. At the moment, however, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, wait, this is a misunderstanding. Please leave. Fine. So are we going to be okay not getting a photograph of the mayor then? Please, for the love of videos and my sanity. Just keep your mouth shut. Oh, God. N N Niall, wait for me! Phew, okay. And then, hey, fellas. Yes, we yeah, did, in fact, it. do that. Uh, yeah, it just took a bunch of unscrupulous individuals. Uh, really? Uh, To use the mirror to make some <laughs> quick mirror. God, all right, come on. We got stuff to do. And we know it's your duty, but we know that she's also waiting for us. So get us in there, coach. Uh, well, oh, yeah, we haven't been around. Like, it yeah, allowed in. Ran around. Hello. Late deliveries of goods to the Bose market in. because of the airspace being in no fly zone. Sewers. Congratulatory yeah. gifts. More monsters. 
<laughs> when will what the paper the finally end? Ha, um. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 <laughs> you back already? Yeah. 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 No. 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 Pretty busy. We. 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 It's okay. But we did. <laughs> he did kick us out. But it's all set. A much clearer picture of the situation. Hijacking. Ransom demand. Yeah. This is real. This is in fact yeah, really bad. Yeah. Way bigger bad. than. Uh, yeah. Uh. No. I think we learned pretty much mostly the gist of it. And then he found out at the end because he's an idiot loser. Yeah. Uh. It wasn't. No. That is good. Uh, because then covering up a crash, much worse, I think, than covering up something like, well, okay, no, both are bad. You don't even really have to cover up the sky bandits. I think that's when you say, our valiant men and women yes, in the military have yes. captured the evildoers. And yes, then exactly. Like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, 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 they did a great job. Yeah, right, we're war, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Continue your investigation. Yeah, of course. Yeah, da doy. The, uh, da doy? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jared just says that. Yeah, um, right, exactly. Hello? <laughs> I was just thinking, and no matter which way I look at things, you can't believe, can't believe it. it. Oh, yeah, of yeah, course. How did That's Dad definitely. Get smoked by this guy? Unless, like, you know, like, like a la Sea of Thieves, they sent a missile skirting across the top deck and just, like, <laughs> hit him off the ship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Because back when he I got, played. He got into the cannon and fired himself at Back when I played Sea of Thieves, uh, if we lost our, our best PvP or because they shot him off the deck of our ship, we were as good as sunk. I mean, yeah. Uh, you so, just got to run away. I mean, yeah, exactly. Easy peasy. I'm in agreement with you there. With a group of that caliber. Yeah, no, for sure. No, 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 Estelle, you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't. I don't think you understand an entire group. <laughs> That your father was aboard that airliner, yes. And also, we know we didn't mention it at all. And of course, she knows who he is. Yeah, yeah well, um, okay. Uh, yeah. Did you, do you know my dad or something? I've never met him in person, but I've had a great deal about him. I've heard a great deal. I'm sorry, I just don't know what to say. But we might be able to use this to get some information from the army. It is kind of wild that we didn't think to use our dad's name to open doors because... Well, we well, don't... So, I mean, Estelle is just like, he's just like my, my yeah, dumb old Yeah, he's just dad. my old man. Exactly. Yeah. And, but it, it to me, Shara should be thinking a little more. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, Can I empathize? Yeah, with what you're going, going through. through. Okay. No, yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah, she does seem to know our father. Yeah. Imagine where she's coming from. Have known one another for a long time. <laughs> all the, I love all the question marks whenever she's like, huh? huh? So let's head to the guild. Yeah, let's go report. Yeah, and then we're all set. Out. Oh, it's you kids? So did you find out anything about the incident? <laughs> you bet. Valuable information at that. And Estelle relayed the information they had obtained from General Morgan. The Sky Bandits and the Capua family. Capua family, fuck. You're right. That is <laughs> valuable bad. information. Looks like we'll be able to decide on a policy for the Bracer Guild related to this. However, I'm surprised to hear that General Morgan is an even bigger Bracer hater. That's like a, that's like a slur. <laughs> bracer hater than I'd originally thought. Yeah, I was really surprised myself. In Roland, the job of a Bracer is pretty much respected by everyone, so to encounter someone that hates Bracers that much... Don't worry about it. General Morgan is an exception. Under normal circumstances, the Royal Army and the Guild maintain a pretty good cooperative relationship. However, it looks like this time you're going to have to deal with a lot more than you bargained for. Well, then I guess we'll have to try and make steady efforts while maintaining a low profile. She and the, Dude, this is where I flash back to her threatening to beat the shit out, yeah, of, out, out of him. Out of the general, yeah. But it looks like these recent burglaries are also the work of the Sky Bandits, right? Yes. Taking into, into account the incident in Roland, it's pretty clear who's behind these. To call them burglaries is one thing, though, because most of the stuff that's been stolen hasn't been all that valuable. I've never thought they would go so far as to commit a heinous crime like a hi like hijacking the Lind. Now that you mention it, it it is rather odd. The burglary that happened in Roland was also rather mild in comparison. Yeah, and to hijack an airliner and then turn around and demand a ransom from the royal family? The, ris the risks there are greater than any potential reward. In light of that, we should probably do a little more on the investigative investigative side ourselves. All right, and that's it. And I think that that is all the time that we have for... Never mind. Let's see. <laughs> now that we've reported to the guild and the mayor, we need to think about what to do next. Searching around blindly. Or, yeah, no, that they're in the sky. It's, it's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's in no, the no. name. What, what? What? Wait, why are you looking at her lately? She's stupid. Estelle, oh my god! Matured. No! <laughs> just because she didn't say that... Oh, something dumb? 
<laughs> no! If it had been the same you as before, you probably would have said something like, let's just comb the entire region. I never thought I'd see the day when those words would come out of your mouth either. My heart's too full of emotions for words. So what are you two trying to say? You can be so rude sometimes, I hope you know. Oh, man. They're just complimenting you, Estelle. Seriously. Unfortunately, unlike Roland, the Bose region is certainly much faster. I'm really hoping for a clue right about now. Oh, yes, Niall and Dorothy. Yeah, right. Okay, no, that's probably a good idea. We can talk to our, our, our intrepid reporters. Our, the informants. If exactly. You will. Our, our, dude, the start of our, our, our network, even. Oh, it, it, it. Perhaps. Um, but, oh, excuse me, ma'am. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway. She's like, oh, excuse me. Um, uh, um, <laughs> um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> then just like question marks and her face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is definitely all the time that we have for today. Uh, I am excited to continue going. As always, this game is just always at the forefront of my mind these days. And I'm just ready to see what else they have in store because I've been really enjoying everything from the combat to the story to the characters. We hope you guys enjoyed that. We definitely did. And we will see you guys in the next video. So for now, have a good rest of your day and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.